Hi, in this video, we will let you know how to access the remote panel. To access the remote panel, we need to have the IP address of the printer. To get the IP address, we can go to the printer properties. We can able to get it from there. To get the printer properties, go to chats button and type printers and scanners and select the printers and scanners. And there's a particular printer which you want to manage. Then go to manage and go to the printer properties. On the printer properties, go to the ports. On the ports, select the configure port. On the configure port option, we have the IP address of that particular printer. You can copy that IP address and open the web browser and paste that IP address on the URL part. So once you keep the URL, uh, paste that IP address in the URL, then you can uh, exactly find a screen like this. Not exactly like this, I already logged in. So I was logging out here. So you will get the screen like this. There you need to log out. So once you log out, press OK. Then you will get the option like this. Then you can select the web utilities. Then you can have an option called extended maintenance. Once you select the user uh, extended maintenance, it will ask you the username and password. And the username will be C, E, C for child. Charlie, E for Edward, and the password will be 927292. So once you enter the password, it will show you the screen like this. Then you can go to the remote panel option. And once you go to the remote panel option, then you have the screen will be displayed on your uh, computer. So to access this uh, remote panel, you should be directly connected with the computer. The mission should be ping with the, your computer and uh, your uh, the, ping, so the, the communication should be done with the printer. If you are not at the customer site, you can use like the uh, team viewer or you can use the any desk uh, by taking the local computer on our access then you can use the same method to access the computer if you are not in front of the machine i'm not at the customer site right now but still i was taking the any desk from the local pc then i was accessing the remote panel here so once you access the remote panel in the right side you have the options called the reset and enter. every button is there so everything was available here which using this one you can use you can able to enter into the service mode or you can use and you can change any settings or you can edit the jobs or you can uh, change some settings here i was in the service mode now and uh, i was just checking what are all the settings we can able to check and if you want to do any uh, settings also we can able to perform So here uh, the customer complaint was uh, gray was not coming good. So I was taking the remote panel. I was just performing the auto gamma adjustment here. If you can see, I was selected the auto gamma settings and uh, going to the auto gamma. And once I press start here, the gamma adjustment will be starting from the uh, starting on the machine. So not only this like. Uh, the uh, changing the service mode settings or if you want to change any deep switch settings or if you want to uh, run any IO check modes or if you want to uh, if you is the customer if you are the customer and if you are not at the site and if you want to submit some job or if any job was there in the hold and if you want to edit that job and how to edit that job I've already explained to you in the previous video you can check that one and you can edit and you can submit directly or you can submit from your computer and you can check the change the paper settings all over here and the operator should uh, the, you should have one operator who is loading the paper or taking the output from the machine uh, apart from that one everything can be done uh, remotely by using this remote panel method so to refresh the screen you need to click on the uh, you click on any white area or somewhere to refresh the next screen if now we are performing the auto gamma so to co after completion it will show the still now existing for but to re uh, to refresh the screen just we need to click on it so here the settings were completed and i was clicking return and i was just going for the gray adjustment now so i already made a video for how to perform the gray adjustment on the Kuhn Kamal machines. If you have any doubt or if you don't have any idea, you can go through that video and you can um, perform the gray balance to get the good skin tone and good output color over there in the machine. Yeah, this is the option for the gray balance adjustment and these are the values which you can if you want to change anything less but these values may not be the more than five more uh, plus or minus five you don't use more than five or more less than minus five uh, to get the optimum output so like this uh, what are the settings you want to change or if you want to adjust any jobs or anything you can able to perform with this uh, or remote panel option i hope now you are very clear how to perform this remote panel if you still have any doubt you can ping me on the comments i will 
try to give us answer and if you are not like my like or subscribe my channel please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the more updates uh, for the Kona Combinator service machines.